Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look at another pigment that I don't use all that often. It's PR264 Pyrol Rubin. Okay, so first up we have Lucas Madder Lake Deep. Like I said, I don't use this pigment very often. Well, I don't use it ever actually. If I ever use this kind of red, I tend to just go with a cadmium. It is a very beautiful, highly saturated red though. I don't actually love this Lucas version. Um, it's a bit more opaque than I would expect. I mean, we'll have to see how it compares to the other three though. Okay, so next we have Windsor Newton Windsor Red Deep. I think I already much prefer this one to the Lucas. It doesn't move a whole lot on the wet paper though. Paints out really smoothly. We'll have to wait and see if it dries more transparent than the Lucas. And next up is Daniel Smith Pyrol Crimson. Oh, this one's lovely too. You can see the difference between this and the Windsor of Newton. Uh, the Daniel Smith flows a lot more on the wet paper. I guess which one you prefer depends on the way you like to paint. I'd say this and the Windsor Newton are pretty level in terms of strength. And they're both, yeah, very good quality compared to the Lucas, I think. And the final paint I have is Schmincke Horridam Ruby Red Deep. Again, this one flows much more than the Windsor and Newton, maybe more than the Daniel Smith as well. Yes, yeah, another really beautiful paint. I guess this pigment is pretty consistent across the artist grade brands. I do always find Schmincke paints so nice to paint out. I mean, the Windsor and Newton and Daniel Smith are both great too, but I don't know, for some reason it always feels extra smooth when I'm painting out the Schmincke watercolors. It's probably all just in my head though. Okay, and here they are in daylight when completely dry. I would definitely say that the Lucas is the weakest here, um, but it is also the cheapest, I guess. The other three, I'd say, are all pretty similar. They, they're all transparent and they're all very highly pigmented. I think which one you choose, as I said before, would depend on if you want it to flow on the paper or if you want it to stay where you put it. So what do you think of these PR264 watercolours? Do you use this pigment in your palette and what do you use it for? And let me know in the comments if you have any particular favourite from a different brand. Thank you very much for watching, I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.